There is still one thing about this airport that I have never seen anywhere else in the world. This is the single best Naya airport experience we've ever had. Immigration in front of us, unbelievable. The day is finally here, the sun is shining. For our farewell to England once again, we are heading back on the road and we could not be more excited. England is super cold right now, so the fact that in 24 hours I'm going to be in some incredible weather has got me feeling very good, very happy. I just can't wait, because this trip means so much to us. So we are heading out to Manila today. We've got a big travel day ahead of us. We've got two flights to take, a layover in Dubai. We're doing our like usual flight, which is a seven and a half hour and an eight and a half hour and a, like a two hour layover. We're gonna be landing in Manila in however many hours that is, but around 10 p.m. Manila time. So basically it's like two days of travel kind of, but it's also just like one day because we move as the time changes. So we like time traveling today, very clever. Um, if you are new around here and you haven't come across us before, then welcome. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We are basically on this big push to try and get 600,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And to be more up to date with our travels of where we are right now, you can follow our Instagram pages right here. We're gonna be posting stories and reels and main posts and loads of exciting stuff planned for this trip. But if you didn't already know, we are heading out to Manila and this time my dad Dad and stepmom are flying out in a few days, well, oh, falling over, to meet us out there. And it's the first time we've ever had any family members in the Philippines. And we're basically tour guides for like a big two week extravaganza, ultimate Philippines bucket list trip. <sighs> I can't wait. Some of the places we're visiting are completely out of this world. And the fact that we're gonna get to show them around the place that we called home during COVID, the place that we got pregnant, where we decided we wanted to have a baby, uh, where our YouTube channel hit all these different milestones, where we rented out a condo for two years, where we bought condos, where we got engaged. Oh, if you're wondering what's going on, um, my I've got like really dry hands and my engagement ring's on the wrong finger. So let me just switch that back over. <laughs> I am going to be in these vlogs. <laughs> George will be in the vlogs too. He's just piped up. He's just eating a massive bowl of pasta. So he's just letting that go down and then we're going to get a move on. Um, Coda's asleep. He's having a good nap. We're going to give him some lunch. We'll get freshened up, finish the final packing bit and then hit the road. George's dad is very kindly taxi driver again today. So we're going to head over to Gatwick very, very soon. But I'm just so excited. Top tip for traveling with kids. Get them out in the morning. Give them as much fresh air as you possibly can. Uh, Coda's been at the park with me all morning and enjoying the sunshine running around we've got the perfect flight time tonight it leaves at 8 30 p.m so it means that hopefully he'll just sleep on the first flight the second flight he'll be awake for half of it and then have like a nap but i feel like we're quite good at this now this long haul travel with kids we've done it a lot of times we've been on lots of different trips lots of different countries but yeah just gonna finish the tidying up change the bins empty the fridge a little bit i can't believe the day's here it's come around so quickly it feels like we were only just in asia and we're heading back over there today but we really hope you enjoy and love this series of travel vlogs because like i said we've got some really exciting plans. You excited? I am very excited. We were saying this yesterday, like we've had such a nice Christmas period, but now Christmas feels like ages ago. Things go weird in our heads because we feel like that last trip was so long. We've kind of only just finished editing those vlogs. We had Christmas, New Year, and now 2024 is in full swing and we're heading back out. Felt like quite a short break, but yeah, we're back on the road daily vlogging. We're gonna film a lot. We're gonna share it all with you guys. It's a very special trip, as Lucy said. Her dad and stepmom are coming out to meet us. We're gonna pick them up from the airport. This is like the kind of trip we wanted to do years ago with people. As soon as we started kind of discovering and exploring the Philippines, we wanted people to come and explore it with us and share it with us. So yeah, another, my dad's coming in 45 minutes, suitcases in the car. Try not to forget something. There will be something that we've forgotten. It's all right, uh, that's what shops tonight. are for. That's what, we've been traveling long enough to know. Yeah. That. You can forget stuff. And it's okay because you just buy it. It doesn't matter. You doesn't just matter, pick guys. it up wherever it is. So long as it's not a passport or a child, you're all good. Passports. Oh, I pack the passports. We're Very fine. Good. Just giving Coda his lunch before we head off to the airport. Nice big plate of pasta. That's the same as Daddy's. Daddy had that pasta. Delicious, isn't it? We're going on an airplane. Yeah, we're going on an airplane. And where are we going? Philippines. Philippines. Are you excited? Yeah? Okay, this is this weird last bit before you leave your house for a very long time that you feel like you've forgotten something. You feel like you're in a panic and a rush even though you're not. It's the afternoon and we've actually had hours today. You finished your strawberries? Well done. Daddy. But guys, it is time. I've got the bag on my back, the hat. 
is going on. We've actually had time today because of this evening flight. I should not be sitting down vlogging right now, but the suitcases are getting in the car. Yeah, we've had time because it's an afternoon flight. We've almost had too much time. We've done a full clean of the house, top to bottom, hoovering. We changed the bedding. We've done all this stuff, which is nice because we do have friends staying in the house whilst we're away. So we thought we wanted to leave it nice for them. We also managed to do a little food shop. So we've left like some milk and we've got eggs and bread and stuff in for our friends who are staying. So we've been super prepared. A little bit too prepared. It's almost going too well. Shouldn't say things like that. Okay, Gatwick Airport, let's go. to London Gatwick. Blue skies, again. here we are again. Feels like we live here, it's really weird. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Pleasure, guys. Appreciate it. Absolute pleasure, have a Smooth marvelous Smooth ride, trip. as always. Enjoy. We will do. Yeah, look after each other. We will do. Have fun. Peter's got his orange. Yes, orange, first, already. First snack of the day. Yeah. Well, no, see, it's four o'clock, George. He's eating a lot today. Yeah, very true, very true. <laughs> Is that nice? Yum, yum. Oh, Karen says, sends a love. Oh, oh, yeah, big oh good. Around. Cool, see you later. See you, darling. See you soon. Hey. Cheers. Oh, see you soon. Thanks, thanks for the ride. Yeah, yeah we'll do. Back. We'll do. Look forward to see our next soon. jam. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. How many vlogs have we started here? Luce, wake up. Sorry. This uh, is the start of the trip. I already feel like it's the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tired, but it's fine. How many? Probably six. On this very yeah. squeaky ramp. Yeah, we're at Gatwick Airport North Terminal. We're going to check our bags and get some dinner. And then we've got maybe hopefully an hour of time for Coda to run around before the flight. I was saying a minute ago that it doesn't feel like that long since the last trip. But now we're like vlogging again, we've got the suitcases. Right. I feel like sometimes when you have too long not doing it, it you're feels rusty. you're rusty. But I feel like we're just picking the camera up the next day. It's really weird. Isn't it, it? Yeah, <laughs> really cool. Painting. Painting. Wow. Painting, Daddy. Painting. Oh wow. So I found this little book on Amazon and it's called Water Wow and it's like a water pen with four different vehicle related pictures which Coda loves. Vehicle, vehicle, yeah. And you basically draw it with water and it like reveals the colours and then it fades so you can like do it again in five minutes. Um, so far it's a hit. Is it fun? <laughs> Where are we? Bye bye. Are we at the airport? Tesco? I don't know if we're at Tesco, we're at the airport. We're going to go on an aeroplane in a minute. What do we do on the aeroplane? Fly. We ride? Oh, we fly. Yeah, we fly. We ride. We, we ride. Yeah, we ride it, kind of. We hold on, don't we? And then we go to sleep. I've been trying to teach Coda that we sleep on aeroplanes. <laughs> we go to sleep on the aeroplane, don't we? On the wake. Hmm. I think we go to sleep. Okay, I hope it's not too loud and that you can hear me slightly. It's quite loud in this restaurant, but we have come once again to Wagamama, which is kind of, yeah, we got a nice view of the runway. It's a really nice day in England today. It's weird, we've had such bad weather. We've been excited to leave. And then the day we leave, it's such nice weather. It's really weird. It's raining tomorrow. It is raining tomorrow. So sorry to everyone we're leaving at home, but for us, fingers crossed in Manila, sunshine, blue skies, we hope, we think, we have it. I looked at the weather forecast, George. It says zero millimeters of precipitation in the next 10 days. Zero. Wow. So no rain. No rain in Manila. So anyway, we are through. I really hope you can hear me. I think you probably can with this expensive microphone that we have on this camera. Picked up some very average coffee and we've ordered dinner. So we'll show you what we've got. Coda's doing some coloring. And so far, so good. We are noticing. We do like to say in these vlogs about how we're getting on with traveling with a kid, traveling with a baby at first. It was, Koda took his first flight at, I think it was around six months. We went over to Asia at long haul. His first kind of long haul flight was around six months. Eight months. Eight months. Okay, around eight months. Since then, our vlogs have been kind of documenting that whole traveling with kids thing. Thank you very much. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Nice one, thank you. And that's kind of continuing as we continue to travel with Koda. He's got reins on, but now to hold him because he's insisting on walking everywhere. He also doesn't want to walk in the direction that we need to go. So it has been a little bit exhausting already. It's that balance of kind of letting him explore a little bit, but also we're in a public place, don't get in people's way. We actually do need to be somewhere. So just trying to manage, manage that. We're doing this for the first time with him at this age. So yeah, fun to document it on the vlog. Boarding time. 
Stratford, I made so many friends in the kids area. There was a kid that was, they were all picking him up actually to test their strength to see he was the strongest, he was the youngest one, he loved it. And he was shouting at a kid in the face, not shouting, but going up to them really close and going, big egg with toys in it. It's random talking rubbish, but I love it, it's so funny. Hello. 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 Go on then, big, big set, go on then. Big set. Well done. <laughs> I need all right, we have made it onto the plane. But flight one of two. If you've watched us do this journey before, we've done it a few times. So first we're flying London to Dubai. Then we have two hours in Dubai and then on to Manila. So it's, I think it's like a, I think it's a seven hour flight and then a nine hour flight. Um, so yeah, this is, a, this is the point where we're sat in these chairs. We're like, at the very start of this, we're like, okay, quite daunting, isn't it? contemplating our life decisions. Is this all worth it? But of course it's worth it, guys. We're gonna be back in the Philippines. We can't wait. Um, this is the first time we've had to pay for a whole seat for Coda, like the full price. But it does mean we've guaranteed a full road to ourselves. So it's pros and cons. And we put in by the window so you can just like explore and yes. I don't know, not escape this way. Yeah. <laughs> They're really wide seats. Like this armrest is up and me and Coda have got loads of room here. So hopefully if he falls asleep. I mean, yes. he keeps telling me how he's going to stay awake. I keep saying, do you have a little rest? And he goes, awake, awake. So I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, maybe this is a really bad time to fly with kids. Like, maybe this let's is the point see. where it's like awful. We don't know. Let's, let's find out. You will find out. I, I like these vlogs because when we watch the back, it's like a couple of minutes past. We knew past. what had happened. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, it is nice having three seats and actually we're flying with Emirates and the space is good. But yeah, since Coda turns two, making these vlogs has turned extra expensive. Coda, I've got you a new toy. Would you like a Gruffalo toy? Ow! The fox? The big brown mouse? Should I take them all out? New toys is also a big travel hack. Toys that they don't have at home. Who's that one? Hello! Hello! So he's been given some stuff for Coda. A little toy, a blanket with an aeroplane on it, and then this bag. Oh, it's a backpack. Cute. He's got loads of little Emirates bags at home, hasn't it? It's hilarious. That's amazing that that folds into that. <laughs> so because we put to seat for Coda, he gets his own entire meal and they've just walked it over. Oh. What is it, like chicken nuggets or cod with some mashed potato and some sweet corn, cheesecake, some bread, butter, raisins, cheese and crackers, and a little Nutri Grain bar and a tiny morsel. We are, well, I am on a little coffee mission. Coda bless him. That was a difficult flight. He did uh, not enjoy that one too much. We'll fill you in a little bit later, but we board our next flight in like 10 minutes, or the gate opens in 10 minutes. I seem to remember having way more time here, but I think it's because we've been a bit slower coming through Dubai airport. I now need to find this coffee shop, grab a coffee, and then we'll fill you in on everything. But yeah, feeling all right. slightly worse wears. I'm gonna come nice and close so you can hear me. I don't want to shout on this flight. We are now in Dubai right now. We've been off the plane. Coda thinks we've just gotten back on the same plane and he was looking, he had a little friend behind him on the last flight called Rosie, a little girl, and it was really sweet. She was like sharing her toys and going, what's my name? And he was saying Rosie and it was really cute. And we got on and he went, where's Rosie gone? So I think he literally thinks we've gotten off the plane to get a coffee and oh, get back on again. Same seat. Yeah, we're on the pretty much the same seat. Same, side same of layout, the same type of the plane, um, the same screens and stuff, because it's another Emirates flight. Mm. But this is a slightly older plane, so I think there's a bit less leg room mm. and a little bit less wide seats, I think. But yeah, he, to be honest with you, it was probably our worst flight yet with him. Oh, he just, 26. out of 26, yeah, I don't know why. Um, he just seemed that he got overtired, couldn't sleep. And then normally he'll sleep on me or George, but he, he couldn't get comfy basically. So he'd be lying there, fall yeah. asleep, the and then sort of turn, like he normally would in his cot on like a flat mattress. But there's like a seat belt in the way, or there's an armrest, or it's not completely flat, or he rolls off the edge and we're sort of ready to catch him. So we've probably had about half an hour sleep each um, over our normal, where we'd get like eight hours overnight. And then he's had maybe two hours, I would say, which is obviously not fair on a two year old. Like it's not, not fun. I feel a bit bad for him right now, but I don't know, it wasn't good. So if he sleeps his flight, that will kind of mess us up time zone wise because we're landing in the evening and we want to sleep 
when we arrive, but equally, if he catches up on sleep, I'm happy and we'll just figure out the time zones the next night or the night after. It always takes a while to adjust, but yeah, I think because he's getting old, he's understanding more, he's knowing there's stuff going on on the plane he doesn't want to miss out on, he's not just going to fall asleep. So, yeah, not ideal, but feeling more positive. We've had a coffee, that was a really good coffee, but he's seeing some colouring now. Sitting in the sun, in the Dubai sun. We're feeling very excited to get there now. Just kind of want to fast forward the next nine hours because it's even longer than the first flight. And I've, I think my wrinkles have tripled in size in that one flight. It's fine, by tomorrow I'll be looking fresh again. But right now, it's not, it's not a good look, guys. They have an hour and 20 minutes. We're saving an hour. Are you joking me? Oh, we've got a request. Here. We just said, can you just fly a little bit faster? Just pretty much, just a little bit. Like, request nine accepted. Hours. Yeah. A little bit. Give it a bit more juice. And also, I wanted to quickly <laughs> stop George Jordan. Uh, on the last flight, if we were talking about like a bad experience on flight, I got a nosebleed. It's like I'm back in school. I literally was just like looking around, and then suddenly I was like, what's that? And I felt, and I said like. Sorry, it's a bit gory, blood all over me. Um, it didn't go anywhere, I had tissues. And it lasted a really long time. I think it's something to do with the pressure, I don't know. But uh, yeah, not the best flight we've had. Probably one of the worst. But this one, it's already positive. We're looking up, it's an hour quicker. And it's going to be the best flight of our lives, guys. We're about to get upgraded to business. Very good, we're not. I'm thinking of starting a YouTube channel. Really? How cool would it be to like capture all these trips that we go on? I don't think anyone will watch us. Nah. Still developing, but we've just had this photo taken. George, what is your hand doing? It's hilarious. Coda's entire face is cut off by George's hat shadow. And George looks like he's vlogging with his hand. Who's that? Coda and Daddy? What about Mummy? I think I'm in here too. Huh? And Daddy and Mummy? Feeling in my bones I can feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right Make up for what I lost I was down but things are looking up I wanna get high on you Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should I wanna get high Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it's true Good news everybody We made it to Manila We've landed at Naya Airport and Lucy is gonna hate me for saying this. Good stuff. That went quick again. The whole thing went quick. I feel like my dad just dropped us off. The second flight like was we really were, good. We were, we were just in, having our, good. yeah it was. I feel like we were just having our katsu curry and wagamama's London Gatwick, but we are here. I also have to say, this is the single best Naya airport experience we've ever had. Way better than last time, for a few reasons. Oh, also got our bags already. That's the first reason. The bags came out super quick. The next reason being, the aircon has improved here so much. We came through a crisp cool. Often in Manila you get greeted by like a wave of heat and then the airport's hot and you've got a long walk, which brings me on to my next point, which makes it the best Naya airport experience we've ever had, is that we walked through a door. Usually when we land in Manila, we have 10, 15 minute walk. We were kind of dreading it with Coda because he wanted to run around. He'd been cooped up on two planes all day. <laughs> so as you can see, he's letting his energy out right now. Yeah, how does he have that much energy? We certainly don't. And now he's calling me George. Huh? George? Yeah? I've just done about 20 laps of the airport. Well done. So yes, anyway, we were anticipating this long walk that we usually get when we land here in Manila. 
But we came through the doors, walked off the plane, walked up the little ramp thing, through the doors, immigration in front of us. Unbelievable. Another thing that's improved but had also been here the last time we came was the QR code system, but it's improved one level higher in that you don't actually have to physically show it anymore. They, there were people like when we got off the plane saying, make sure you have your QR code prepared just so you've done it, but the officers didn't actually ask to see it. And I read that online before we came as well. So, so like this is honestly the best airport experience in Manila that we've had. But to balance and counteract that, there is still one thing about this airport that I have never seen anywhere else in the world. And that is how close, how close people stand waiting to get their luggage. And I think it's got to be the closest in the world. Like people go right up to it like this. I, I left like a gap because I don't know, I think like to me, if you see your case, there needs to be a gap to get it out. But every time your case comes, there's like people stood like that. I don't remember people standing that close at other airports, but anyway, we are here. It is so, so good to be here. You don't know how excited we are to be back in the Philippines in Manila for this trip in particular. We're going to be back here in a few days picking up Lucy's dad and stepmom. But right now we need to get all of our luggage to our Airbnb where we're staying this time. We're actually picking up a car right now as well. So I've, after that long day, I have to drive us to BGC where we're staying. The time is half past 10 at night. The next question then becomes, do I get some food? Do we get some dinner here? Or have the like four or five meals on the plane been enough and what will be open at this time other than like greasy fast food and all that's still to come on the vlog goodness me I don't know how we landed over three hours ago and we've only just got to where we're staying but where is the light switch we are staying at a beautiful Airbnb owned by our friends Kim and Tom we're at Horea Haven right now guys um, we sent them a message and said is there any chance your Airbnb is free for a couple of nights so we can book it because we're heading off on a little road trip very soon but we want three nights in Manila to settle, get used to the time zone and enjoy. We've never stayed in Uptown before and I'm very excited to be based here, but honestly guys, that Airbnb is stunning. Let's get some lights on so you can see it properly. You walk in and it just smells like Kim Ensign, which is a very good thing. <laughs> um, and it's just amazing, it's beautiful. I'm absolutely obsessed with these on the walls. We've got all the different places, uh, like popular tourist spots in the Philippines. Really cool. Let's see if we've been to all of them. Yes, yes, yes. No. Yes. 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 Wow, we've done it. We've completed the wall. Kim and Tom, we've completed your wall. Where have you been? You've been to Palawan, Cebu, Bohol and Manila. You've done some of it, darling. That's good going. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. We'll show you probably tomorrow and like we'll show you the view and stuff when it's light outside in the next vlog. Really comfy looking bed. It's just like high quality, you know. So this is like a very mini room tour. It's not the official. But yeah, you get the idea, super nice. Cannot wait to have a shower in a minute. We're all gonna get freshened up. The time is actually, it's one o'clock in the morning, but UK time, that's not actually that late for us. Um, so I'm actually not feeling too bad considering we've barely slept. Koda has been amazing today. He's done so well, I love you so much. You're the best, you're amazing. You're a proper little travel baby. He even sat there on the second flight with his kids plain food, with headphones on watching Monsters Inc. And I was like, wow, he's actually sat there like having a plane experience. He's not just like lying there on us or being fed a pouch or something. He's having like the aeroplane experience. It's just, you had spaghetti? Yeah, I was gonna tell him that as well, darling. We also made a quick stop it's off. All gone. It's all gone, where's it gone? No. In your mouth and then in your tummy. tummy. Mine's on my yeah. In Coda's tummy as well, yeah. We made a quick stop off to see the Jolly Bee himself um, because Coda was demanding some spaghetti and um, the Gruffalo puzzle, oh darling, I didn't bring that one with us, it's very big, but I've got Gruffalo toys here. So we basically, he wolfed down a quick bit of spaghetti at the airport and then we headed, got our sims, got some cash out. We've actually have rented a car on this trip. We're gonna give you more details on that in a couple of days when we leave Manila, because we wanna show you that properly. We were gonna show you tonight, but we're so tired and we're in uptown for a few days now. So we've just parked the car in underground parking and then we'll be like off on adventures very, very soon, isn't it? I sound all bunged up. Being an aircon just ruins my everything. <laughs> It ruins my skin, it ruins my nose. Are you singing? So no idea how we're all gonna sleep because we're all a bit awake slash exhausted. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of unpacking tonight. Let me just show you the kitchen area as well quickly. I love these um, shelvings and the ceilings are really nice and tall. It reminds me of our old condo. 
back when we were living in like central BGC that had really tall ceilings and yeah really really lovely kitchen area super clean honestly the smell in here is amazing and we've even got a coffee station so the morning coffee for tomorrow is well and truly sorted okay it's about half an hour later George has gone to Lawson or 7-eleven I'm not sure which one whichever the closest convenience store is to here and um, to grab some supplies some fruits and milk and some water you right pop it okay I've just been out for a very late night wander like 1 a.m. I don't know if Lucy mentioned it, but so many people around. It's actually died down a little bit now, but driving back in, midnight, so many people around. We love that. We, we don't get that in our town, like our tiny little town in England. And to be honest, I don't really remember that in BGC. We used to go out late night when we lived here, and it, I don't ever remember it being that busy around midnight, unless it like, unless there's like a second wind, maybe. Maybe people who work in some of the offices finish, I don't know, 11 or I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments, but anyway. So great to be here, it gives me so much energy. I'm walking around at 1 a.m. like, just looking around, taking it all in, it's all new again. I'm gonna show you what I picked up at 7-Eleven because that was the only kind of store open. After that flight, I wanted to find some like healthy snacks and just finish off the day with a little bit of food. So what could I find? So we just got some milk because Coda sometimes does still need milk. And we got some waters, mineral water for Lucy and I. It has to be mineral water, guys, or you have to mineralize your own water if it is not already for the best hydration tip I learned over the last couple of years. And I picked up some nuts. So I've got these cashew nuts, two packs of those, and then some pistachio nuts. Cause having a look at the ingredients on the back, the only thing added to this is salt. And like, I love ding dongs, don't get me wrong, I love ding dongs, but I had a look at the ingredients, ton of stuff added right now like after a long travel day and this kind of trip since christmas lucy and i've been really really healthy and we've been trying to stick to that and not put in like toxins in our bodies and yeah we're not perfect but we do now try to eat just like real food good food anyway on that note i picked up not one guys not two come on not even three four bananas that we can graze on over the coming day or so and what was this oh yeah some grapes for coda from the refrigerated section of 7-eleven but no need Keep those refrigerated we'll keep those out food is better for you at room temperature i learned that recently because your like digestive system is like a fire basically and if you eat from the fridge and drink cold water and stuff you're kind of putting that fire out and you're taking your body a step backwards from where it needs to be for proper digestion and consumption of the nutrients stuff like that yeah we're gonna munch on some of this and then head to bed and wake up for the first proper day in the philippines i'm pretty much unpacked um i say unpacked we've got the suitcases open on the floor with access to stuff. I've unpacked the toiletries. Coda has just had a bit of bread and is watching The Grinch. I'm playing with his toys and we're all gonna get showered up in a second and head to bed. I don't know what's gonna go on timing wise with us all because I don't know how well Coda's gonna sleep. He fell asleep on the way here from the airport. So that might not have been a good thing, but he was exhausted, bless him. So I'm glad he's catching up on sleep. Yeah, but we're getting there. Looking forward to a little reset tomorrow, a little grocery shop. I need to book in somewhere to get my nails done. I need to get a haircut. A little refresh, a little reset, but super happy to be back in Manila. Can't believe we're here already. It was a long travel day, but now that we're here, it's just like kind of wild that we're back. <laughs> good singing. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I feel like it's going to be quite a long one. So um, let us know if you like long vlogs because we can do more of them on this trip. I do quite like filming long videos. We have had a bit of an epic travel day today. This is so loud. I'm going to turn it down. It's like two in the morning and the Grinch is blasting out of our condo. Where are you going, Puppet? In the shower? Yeah, let's do see you changed. Come here. All done, shower. We're gonna leave a link to Kim and Tom's Airbnb below if you wanna book it for yourselves, because I highly recommend it. It's beautiful, super clean, high quality furnishings. Really happy to be here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you very soon tomorrow for our first full day here back in Manila. Thanks for watching. Bye.